Madison Waterfield for 131. Yes. Um, it's Brain Cupcakes right now, still working on the title. Um, what was your idea heading into the project? Did it change or was it the same? I was thinking of doing something a little different with my ramekins, which is my original object. Um, when I realized the extent of the project parameters and how we would cast, I had to refocus on a more solid design um, so it wouldn't be fragile and could be easily cast multiple times. So the original was like um, a tongue coming out of the ramekin that could be placed on a wall and have multiple of them in different positions, different colors. Then I had to switch on to something more solid, which I ended up with um, cupcake design and I embellished it with a brain texture. Um, what was most difficult with your project? The sculpting took quite a long time. Um, each side of the cupcake has a different texture and sculpting style, which took a while to sculpt my original, and then the time constraint of the casting process took the longest. Uh, what went wrong? Nothing yet. That's good. None of them have broken or chipped. The painting is in progress. Um, we'll see how that goes, make sure that they all come out okay. Um, I had a bit of a hiccup with, I guess, my frosting. Um, the first ones were just testers, they didn't come out the greatest. I have to work on my technique when I actually put them on the cupcakes. Yeah, what went right? Everything else. <laughs> Are you happy with the results so far? Yeah, I think they're really interesting so far. Um, I like the concept. I would like them to be interactive, which is a new thing for me for art, so hopefully I can make one interactive, so they can be touched. Um, what do you plan with doing your project afterwards? Probably a display piece. It probably will be included in my permanent portfolio. So it will probably have a little spot in my home, and when I need to pull it out for portfolio work, it will be there.